hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you one quick trick about how to check whether a list is empty so many times uh, you have seen that you may need to test whether list contains a value or empty and there is no direct function to do it and uh, one of the way which i will show you in this video will help you uh, understand how or help you evaluate uh, whether a list is empty or not well before we move ahead just a quick uh, recommendation that if you are facing these kind of problems uh, and want me to create a video on that then let me know in the comments and i will take it forward and uh, figure out some time to create a video on this all right so let's move on to this topic okay so we have a list let's say a over here which is an empty list and uh, to check it whether it is empty or not we just have to either you can define a function but now we, without defining a function I will just show you using the if statement if not a print list is empty so what it is showing list is empty let's say if I uh, have something in list maybe one comma uh, two then it will not print anything so maybe we can say else print list has values so just a colon list has values and if I just remove the list again execute execute this list is empty now I know writing this again and again is something which is uh, problematic and uh, what you can do is you can define a function using def is list empty right that is it uh, that you need to provide and uh, colon after that uh, you have it this here and uh, have this here and just a proper indentation and execute this and say is list empty and pass a oops I need to pass a value of a over here I have to pass the parameter which is let's say a over there and if I execute this it simply says a list is empty and uh, if I want I can say some string value earlier I showed you the numeric value now let me pass on two different strings and list has values even you can return the values i mean you can be as creative as you want but this is something uh, you don't have to write the code again and again simply create a function i just created is list empty you can create whatever you know meaningful to you and have this thing uh, in your code all right so that's pretty much it and i will meet you in the next video